So this is a game called Kowloon's Curse, Lost Report, and it seemed interesting. That's about as much as I knew about it going in. Jackal played it, liked it, and here I am. Like I said, tonight is a night to play some chill games. I don't know how chill this is going to be, but we'll find out. It already sounds like Silent Hill. Moltner. Welcome to your first day on the job, Mr. Manslaughter. My name is John C. I'll be doing your orientation. <laughs> Don't worry, it's nothing complicated, just some tests so we can gauge your responses. Does the C- where am I? You're dreaming about your first day working for a big software corporation. Let's start. Don't worry, there's no right or wrong answers. Follow me. Say you're hard at work in our programming department. But you run into an unforeseen problem. Your tape drive is faulty. What would you do? If the computer's jammed, I'll whack it. That ought to fix it. Very interesting. Come along. Now, imagine on your way to the break room, you accidentally get lost in the infinite vending machine maze on floor 98. What is your response? Is this a fucking empathy test for androids? The vending machines are all collected to the mainframe for data collection, so I can hack one to phone home to the database and leave a message for someone to come and help me. All right, interesting answer. One more question. After a disastrous quarterly report, your boss calls you in for a personal evaluation. You're worried he might be thinking about laying you off. What do you do? I offer him a cigarette and a battery. I hope he's weak to at least one of those items. All right, those are some very interesting answers. They reveal a lot about the subconscious workings of your mind. If you're not happy with the answers you gave, you can start over and try again. It's your dream after all. That's fine. All right, thanks for dreaming with the Archon Real Reality Census Bureau, and best of luck with your future endeavors. Trust me, you're gonna need it. Weird dream. What was that guy's problem? Kowloon City is a dangerous place, and it's more than likely that you'll often get into fights while exploring the city. Aside from your regular attacks, you'll also have access to several special skills depending on your stats. You can also give items to enemies during battle. After, um... Buying an item from Easy Mart or certain characters, choose Give. Different enemies react differently to each item. Energy, dr energy drinks can be bought from vending machines. Make sure to stock up. You can restore health with them. It's your TV. Watch something? Sure. This is my favorite TV station. I see. Sometimes they say someone is in the wrong place at the wrong time. Well, if you ask me, this guy is in the right place at exactly the right time. Because that was awesome. What if Grey Leno was just on the next station?
But these aren't real photos, are they? Are they? Are they? I can't tell if they're just crusty AI photos. Oh, oops. Um, I'll disable the mouse cursor. Just so it doesn't... Because I know I'm going to have to move it a bunch. Painting. Session for the blind one. The painting depicts a group of people dressed in long black robes in overgrown ruins of what looks like a church. So again, if anyone here wants me to explain this game, I don't think I can. And yes, um... People are saying, Shin Mikami Tensei. And I, I am aware that that's, um, this is influenced by that. Input a URL. Atlas Earth. Oh, damn. Grand Heavenly Emperor's Golden Dragon Palace. Play online gambling? Yes. Choose amount to bet. Ten. Color to bet on blue. You win. No. Chat, why, um... Why is it so hard to walk away from a machine of gambling when you win? Time to go to work. I'll receive my instructions from payphone, from the payphone outside. Let's see, can I talk to this guy? No. So, so yeah, this, this is, um... We're already off to a hell of a start with this one. Is this game recent? I think, like, the past month it came out. Music is quite good. Hang on, let me make the game a little louder, actually. I just see... Uh, is that a cat smoking a cigarette? <laughs> Boy, I really... I, I chose the right game for today's holiday. Phone's ringing, go down the elevator, pick it up. That's a nice thing. I'll just ignore it. I am speaking on behalf of the inspector. I hope you enjoyed your time off while it lasted. I have a new assignment for you and it's rather urgent. You know the club called Echoes? It's in the Rooster District. You go in there tonight. There's a briefcase somewhere in that club that was supposed to be delivered to us a week ago, but never arrived. So we're taking it from them ourselves. Go to Sergio's place and tell him to get his ass to work. Then take the metro to the Rooster District and go to Echoes. Oh, uh, Sergio... Serge, Ser Sergio lives next to the convenience store on Dragon Street. Whoa. Why only some voice acting? Oh. Oh, here's a fella. Wow. You, you were just there that whole time, huh? You use that payphone nearly every day. Ever thought about just getting your own? Oh. Hostage situation. Is that your name? It is. <laughs> it's his name! Want something to smoke? Something to drink? Hostage situation has it all. As long as you've got enough hell money. 
Cigarette. One cigarette. Here you go. Hostage situation. Just sold me a cigarette. I just love that this exists. Telemanes. See those little guys across from me in the sewer pipes? They're called fellas. <laughs> they work for Kowloon Post, delivering packages and all that. Not sure exactly what they are, but they seem to be pretty good workers. Oh, those. I see. Binmen. We're a community. Like any good community member, I do my part, I work with my hands, I make ends meet, I sell a good product. Sometimes it weighs on me, though. People buy this stuff because they need it. It's not a sin to sell something someone needs. It's not my fault. They can't really afford it. Or so I keep telling myself. Hey, you. Give me some money. Why? The man laughs. Ain't that obvious? Look at these bottles. They're empty and I need more. That's right, I'm an alcoholic. And since you don't look like you want to pay up, I'll just have to beat the money out of you. Punch man, shoot man. Oh, that's... Two damage. The man's turn. Man charges towards you. Man attack hits you. Uh, beating, hack, defone, gun, gunpowder, cigarette. My knuckles are itching for a beatdown. I don't think I pressed F in time. It happened so quick. Looks like someone has a faulty battery and a weak firewall that combines into a magnificent firewall. The D phone explodes inside the man's pocket, dealing four damage. <laughs> The man is dead. How lucky. There was 500 hell money in his pocket. Wow. Well, th this is... This is something else. A real anime girl. Are you here to play Mahjong? I... I'm good. Consoglio. <laughs> Hello, uh, how can I help you? Good, thank you. I, there's just like pieces of ripped flesh floating and talking to me, that's fine. The inspector pretty much runs this district. No one knows what he looks like though. Maybe he's actually a hot girl. Wouldn't that be something? Is- whoa. That. Look at that selection. Fine spread. Hey, how can I help you? Battery. Gonna need to see some ID for that, buddy. Always bring your ID in case you need to purchase batteries. Remember that. It's like when I did that plug-and-play a couple weeks back. Not the Lexi book, but the one before that. And the batteries were all crusty. And... I had to, like, actually... Like, scrape the acid off. God. 
that's when you need to you you need to have ID to purchase batteries for stuff like that. That's why they want. That's why they want it. I used vinegar, yeah, and then it made mustard gas, and I've been just on cloud nine ever since. Is that me? Sergio was sitting on the couch. A smoke cane pipe in one hand and a gun in the other. Smoke cane, huh? The way he glances at the gun before looking at you is unnerving. Join him? Hey, cocksucker, what do you want? I'm doing some final preparations, finalizing things, you know? <laughs> You're on the couch with the smokane pipe. You hear that? That's my own mixtape I'm listening to. One of these days, I'm gonna make it big and I'll go where I belong. Up. What do you think of it? Sergio, it's ass. Fuck you, always trying to keep me down. Asshole. People who know what they're on about. They said it's fire. Once my music career takes off, I'm out of here. Sergio takes the pipe and uh, puts it to his mouth and takes a big hit. Want a hit? I'll take a... Um, I'll take a normal hit. You take a hit from the smokane pipe. Sergio takes another big hit from the smokane pipe. Yeah, that's the shit. Wanna watch some TV until the peak wears off? Yeah. There's a new episode of people getting run over by trucks. You're gonna love it. Oh, I saw this one already, Sergio. This is- oh fuck, this episode's fire. Dude. Yo, you got the Gabba Goblins on here? Sire? Hey, what are we listening to, Sergio? We're listening to Delicate Steve. Fucking amazing. In the wrong place at the wrong time. Funniest shit I've ever seen. Fine, let's get working on that job for the inspector. I'll meet you outside. So, uh, hey, Sergio, when does this shit wear off? the music. Amazing. Okay, the smoke cane's kind of worn off a little bit. Vinny, that's a jawbone hit. Get out of here, chat member. Stop trying to- stop trying to remind me of roadkill. What are you waiting for? Let's go to Echoes. It's in the Rooster District. We can take the Metro to get there. Oh, uh, we live in a world now where there are chat members who have listened to all of the Roadkill radio stations. So... Proud of yourselves? The metro gently sways back and forth. The kid on the other side of the train car is staring at you. His mother is staring at her phone. Make a funny face. The kid laughs. You're pretty sure. He thinks you're cool. The metro comes to a stop. You've arrived at your destination. I can tell you that is very unlike New York. Because, um, 
I don't see any piss. On your way to the club, homie? It's just up ahead. What, what are these things? They're, man. Okay. There's a lot of shady stuff going on at Echoes that goes unseen by the general public. More like, like, insect hybrid person thing. It's more like sea man. You gotta get yourself an invite to the after party if you want to get in on it. It's so weird. Hey, got any muck and all? I want to go to Echoes tonight. No way in hell I'm going without. Do you know about the real Kowloon Walled City? I do. Roman soldier. <laughs> hey. What? A poison. Oh yeah, Poison is an FL Studio VST. I, I think I've used it once. I've used the VST that makes the little anime girl dance to your music once. <laughs> Whatever the name of that is. FL Chan, yeah, yeah. We're not making a phone call after all. It's just water. This area is off limits right now. Get lost. Alright, we're in. Time to find that briefcase. How about you start by listening around a bit? Come and find me when you've got something. Ah, when the hell is he gonna be here? My friend said he'd be here an hour ago. I wanted to give him another call using the payphone outside, but the only phone card I had ran out. The man lets out a deep sigh. You here, you can have the empty phone card. Hey, haven't seen you in Echoes in a while. Nice to have you back. Something to drink? It's on me. Can I get a shot of Samyaki and Smokane? Oh, you can drink Samyaki in this world? Oh man, that stuff is just... Oh. I'm good. Nope! I'll have something sweet. Sure, here you go. By the way, want to hear something insane that happened to me a while back? A while back, I went on a date with a guy from the Snake District. Well, you know what they say about Snake Districts, but the guy was pretty cute. So we eat at an expensive restaurant, and afterwards he asks me if I want to see his penthouse. Well, you can imagine what I was thinking, but I said yes because he was kind of nice to me and also pretty attractive. I had a good feeling about it, you know? But then when we got there, he started asking me all these bizarre questions. One really stuck with me. He asked, If we ever fall in love, promise me you won't keep a garden full of roses, each one resembling one of the single women in our neighborhood. And when one of the roses blooms, you'll know the lady it represents has fallen in love. And then as you cut down the flowering rose, you cut down her life as well as killing her instantly. What the hell am I supposed to answer? I laughed because I thought he was making a silly joke, but this upset him greatly. I haven't seen him since. You think that's normal? I've seen this guy in a dream once. No way, please tell me you're kidding. I don't know. Very human. Very easy to use. Mm -hmm. 
there's something I wanted to ask you. My song is pretty good, so go and tell the DJ to play it. <laughs> Fucking Sergio. Hey, what's up? Play this. Sorry, I don't do... Jesus, that's a lot of money. Fine, just this once. Mood ruined. The entire crowd promptly stops dancing. One person. One person loves it. longer do we have to be here? I can't stand this shit. So that guy gets the briefcase from the back. Won't be long. I don't get what all these those kids like about places like this. Man 2 turns towards you. The hell are you staring at, man? Go bother someone else. That should be enough information. Better go back and tell Sergio. What are you looking at? Get law. Oh, that's a... Okay, that's a person. That That's, that's, a, that's a sentient telephone booth. Okay. So find anything? Overheard some guys talking about the briefcase. And? They said it's somewhere in the back. Well then, let's fucking get going then before they take it out of here. We gotta go through that door. Move along, please. Can't let you through. Get lost. I've got something you might like. You give the guard the phone card you found. Man, fuck you. You think just because I look like a phone booth, I'd want something like this? <sighs> Worst part is, you ain't even wrong. I'll let you through. Go, before anyone sees you. I said I was sober before chat. Um, when I started the stream on 420, on the year of our Lord, 2023. And that was true then, but this game might be changing that a little bit. Also... This is just like... Real hieroglyphics? Huh. Sorry, I'm not open for business currently. Gotta sort out some stuff with the tax administration. Some new laws regarding taxes on mummies and products made from mummies. <laughs> All these fucking regulations. Tell me about it, right? It's because Nortz is giving you secondhand smoke, isn't it? And Nortz, is, is that what that fog was? I thought we were in Silent Hill. Yeah, we probably have a puzzle to solve here soon. There's a door blocking your path. It doesn't look too strong, however. Punch. Kick. Someone in chat just said, Yeah, make stoners solve puzzles. Yeah. The door is locked. There should be some way to open it. Fuck if I know. Someone just said, read the walls, they have instructions. And, I, and for a minute there, I'm like, oh, really?
One, two. One. Two, one, three. Two, one, three, five. Twenty one thirty five, maybe. Um, on the floor. Everybody walk the dinosaur. I always thought it was everybody do the dinosaur. Turns out it's everyone walk the dinosaur. <laughs> this is a guard? It's like a little white sperm Teletubby. Before we fight, I've got to ask you, will you smoke a cigarette with me? You hand the guard a cigarette. <laughs> The guard lights a cigarette and explodes in his face. Sergio shoots the man. Knuckles are itching for a beatdown. When do you press F? Like, I was waiting for it, and then the circle disappeared. It disappears before it gets to the F, chat. The guard is crying. Oh. I thought you had to time it too, but the circle disappears before you get a chance to time it. So, I don't know. The guard is crying. The guard has stopped crying. The guard charges towards you. No. Not like this. The guard's attack hits you. The guard does not have much to say. Alright. The blood is on your hands, Sergio. We're here to pick that up. That briefcase over there. Who the hell are you guys? We work for your boss. I don't know you. We work for your boss and we've come to pick up that briefcase. So please hand it over now. Not happening. I know the guys who are coming to pick it up. It's the same guys as always. Got strict orders from the boss not to give it uh, to anyone else. They called in sick. You know what? I don't believe you. Oh, for fuck's sake. Let's fuck this guy up! The enemy does not have much to say. There's a lot of damage. <laughs> the enemy is crying and his career is over. What? If you insult the enemies, they sometimes will cry and stop shooting you. Have you ever shit teeth before? I got a critical hit. I pressed F that time, like, really early, but I pressed it. Wait for the circle to close in before pressing F. It doesn't close in. That's the problem. 
Your insult didn't have any effect. God damn it. The refreshing flavor of urban classic energy drink fills your mouth as you chug the entire can in one go, restoring five health. The shot hit Sergio. Good. You look starved, and not just for nicotine. Here, have this one. It's laced with my own special mix. Once again, Sergio has murdered. I'll finish him. Sergio shoots. However, his shot hits the briefcase instead. Black liquid starts leaking out. Fuck. Fucking hell, this is real bad. Real bad, you understand? We gotta get the hell out of here. Right now! Sergio shoots again, this time hitting the man in the head. Come on, let's get going! Classic Sergio. That, that was a classic Sergio boner, you know that? I think I just went around the long way. Just a little bit of... Just a little jawbone. Yeah, that was a Joker meme. That wasn't even like a... A gross meme. Did I just... What? Okay, I think we're done here. Oh, thanks for the phone card. Have a nice evening. N new nautical affinity, mythopoetic worldview, or battle tendency? This game is so weird. Fucked up bad there. Anyway, I'm starving. Let's go eat at Mr. Chen's. It's in the alley next to the one that has the station entrance. Let's go there. Sergio, my brother in Christ, it is you who fucked up. Chat members, thank you for asking many of the same question. That one chat member really wants to know the answer. But, um, I'm just gonna enjoy and get into the game, and we can do Q&A maybe later. You and Sergio sit down at the restaurant. Sergio seems oddly calm, considering everyone, or everything that went down. Where is the waiter? Sergio lights up a cigarette. Immediately someone comes running over. Hey, you're not allowed to smoke in here. Fucking works every time. Three beers, two for me, and one for this cocksucker over here. He laughs. Would you like to try a free sample of our new protein smoothie? Get that health shit away from me. The waitress nods and leaves. So you've heard my mixtape. It's fire. Really good. But what I haven't told you is that I've got a video clip coming up. It's going to be good, too. I mean, with the amount of money I'm paying this guy, it better be. Before long, I'm out of this line of work, where I belong. Everyone's gonna see that clip. And when I go to a restaurant, you know, the waitress will come running. The waitress comes by and places beers on the table. Sergio drinks the first of his beers in one gulp. 
Gotta have two beers, you know. Oh, I've been listening to some more Man Addict. You know, the podcast. You're gonna love this. So, you know how on enough smokane you start seeing shit? So it turns out, all that shit is real. They did science and all to prove that. So if you got two assholes on smokane at the truck stop, they both see the same things. That means it's real. And they also said... They also said that monkeys accidentally did some smokane. Yeah, I don't know how either, but maybe their bananas were laced? Anyway, that's what made them evolve into humans. <sighs> their minds expanded, just like that. So if you do enough smokane, you can also, like, evolve to a higher level. When my video clip drops, I'm gonna see if Shogun Joe can invite me to his podcast. Sergio on Man Addict. Ah, that's gonna be a hell of good. The waitress comes on sh Shogun Joe. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, game. The waitress comes along with the menus. You can order some shit too, if you want, it's on me. You know, I've been thinking, I've gotta be the inspector's top earner, right? I mean, I have to be. One of these days, he's gonna ring me up for a promotion. And then I'm done with this grunt work, finally. Get some respect. Before you can react, he turns around and screams for the waitress at full volume. Hey lady! I'm done! Come and take my order! The waitress comes hurrying back. Yeah, I'll have, uh... Do I really want to listen to this? No. Sergio spends the next 20 minutes detailing his, his massive order. And that's all. I'm hungry, so be quick. He looks at the waitress, who's on the verge of crying, then at you. You also want something? I'll have the small fries. You fucking fat ass. Yeah, sure you'd like some fries if I'm paying for them, huh, freeloader? The waitress leaves. After a few minutes, she delivers your small fries. Where the fuck is my food? Why is he getting his food before I do? Your order is almost done, sir. Sorry. The waitress leaves and after a while returns with Sergio's food. What the fuck is this? What? Take a good look at those fries. French style, I said! Does this look like French style fries to you? <laughs> those look like Belgian fries, if you ask me. What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm so... Before the waitress can even finish her sentence, Sergio has gotten up from his chair. You can't do anything right, huh, dumb fucking bitch? Fuck this place, I'm leaving. You can't just leave without paying, sir. Is that so? Then what am I doing right now? Hey, stop! Sergio angrily leaves the restaurant. You finish your fries in silence. Someone in chat just said, Sergio owns so much land in the metaverse. I hate this guy. Like, I, I hate him. I have like kind of a, I kind of have a weird rule. It's not really a rule, it's just something I've noticed. Maybe it's a little dumb, but if I'm out to dinner with someone and they're nice to me, but rude to the waiter or waitress, then I don't like them anymore usually. Like I just think that's, especially if it's m like a minor thing. Fair enough if someone fucks up your order repeatedly or they're not there and you get a little testy with them testy <laughs> how often does it happen to you that's happened actually with um believe it or not several family members over the past many years and a couple friends as well not like friends but like friends of friends acquaintances but um it hasn't happened in years this is just something i've noticed though to be fair one of those nights was a night where i was with um friends and we were at a a diner at three in the morning after a night of drinking and the person that was like extremely shitty and rude was on the alcohol and I don't I don't know if that's their real personality but they were not all that amazing outside of that either so loud Italian family magnifies it too it can but that's that's we got a lot of those. Vinny, is it true you won't hire anyone who salts their food before tasting it? Uh 
hire anyone. What do you mean hire exactly? Anyways, you seen Florio around? Florio? No, but Giorgio ran into me today. You ask for anything? Yeah, the usual. You too, huh? Now don't tell me there's more bodies. Shh. Hush down, pal. I had to dump three for him just this week. He assured me it's just a relapse. Again. Well, looks like he's had us both fooled. Man, Giorgio needs to stop killing. It's not healthy. All I'm saying is we need to get that guy back to rehab pronto. It's interesting to just say that out loud on a in a public space. I mean, I guess it says jobs over, go home. Where is home? Dragon District? Let me let me talk to Weird Man. You the guy from Kowloon Channel? Yes. All right, well, listen carefully. The address is Kowloon Hitman, all lowercase. You type in the name of the person you want to get rid of, and the next day it's done. That's all. Now, get going. Hmm. Well... I wonder who chat wants me to get rid of. What? Who's this fella? I really like the- Bib Bob. <laughs> what do you want? What a great name that is. Bib Bob. Hey, I'm a living sex story, all right? Do you all want to fuck with me? It's Gringus, you know him? The kids here may be too poor to afford his games, but they really like him. That's why I painted this. Makes them really happy. Makes the kids feel like Gringus is there for him, you know? Kids. Kids should be allowed to be kids, even in a place like this. No, especially in a place like this. There he is, Gringus. The famous Gringus. The hedgehog, uh, the something. Organ shack? Organ shack. I love Scrimmy Gringus and the Scrungy Bingus. Me? Gringaga. Instant mail machine. Pick up a package. No. Oh. All right. Oh, I don't know what district I chose. Did you play any more of that new fighting game? What, Rumble 3? Nah, man. Well, why not? I thought you were having fun. Nah, the game sucks. Curb Rumble 2 is so much better. Rumble 3 has no footsies. Rewards mashing too much. Plus, there's only one- I read that like an AI. Rewards mashing. Too much. Plus, there's only one guy online. One guy's better than nothing, though, right? Yeah, I guess, but all he does is pick Eugene and drop rocks around the screen all match. Fucking Eugene main. There's so many characters in this game, I don't understand what kind of psychopath would spend all their free time spamming a single meme strategy that barely even works. Plus, his connection sucks. Uh, I don't know what stop this is. I chose too quickly. A vaguely human-shaped mass of flesh sits next to you. Wanna hear something messed up? Sure. Sure, it's the kind of thing you can't unhear. 
Yeah, tell me. All right. Did you know that between 50 and 70% of people are estimated to never experience any kind of internal monologue? They're just like on autopilot, no thoughts whatsoever. Sure explains a lot, right? I wonder what it'd be like not to have a soul. Not that I'd know or anything. The passenger nervously stands up and walks away. Yeah. That study was poorly done. Yeah, I, you know, I can't believe a scientist named Maniac Bob did that study. And then it got approved. Actually, his first name is Mani, and his last name is Yak Bob. Just so you know, just just to be clear. Yeah, he's a, he's gonna have a show soon. Yak Bob Sponge ca uh, Camp. Someone getting in your way. Sergio. Go. Order a hitman to kill Sergio. This will cost 1,000 hell money. Yeah, okay. Really? Yes. I clicked the order button on the shady website, but the payment got declined. Looks like I don't have enough money. God damn it. Too much energy drink. Dream. Oh, it's my favorite show. Hey, have you ever wondered, monkeys are people, drugs, dreams, easy mark? What if you get run over by a truck? That's real dream dialogue. Oh, is this the, um, the maze room? On the 96th floor? Yep, it's the vending machine maze. Mr. Malfunction. Hey, you there. We're really sorry. We're having some technical difficulties. Hang on. Hold the fort. We're really sorry. We're having some technical difficulties. Another dream. Yes and no. All this stuff can be frustrating or even frightening. Your mind racing to make sense of what is going on. To make it up to you, I'll let you ask me one of the burning questions on your mind. Okay. Pit is old already. He's old. What are fella- wait, 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 do people actually watch Mick and Jordy? I'm going to die soon, aren't I? Why can't I backtrack in a conversation and ask something else instead? Is there anything I could have done differently? Um, what are fellas really? Fellas are felons, convicts who have been put through a process involving mutagenic goo, cybernetic augmentation, and mind-body wellness meditation exercises to mold them into a new shape, one suited to repay their debts to society. Oh, and before I forget, I was told to give you something to make up for the holdup and confusion. Pick one, it's all yours. Uh, 
Um, whoa, is that a brand new D phone with a Kali Yuga hacking distro operating system? Um, a book about occult knowledge by Baldmeyer? Sure. There you go. Now go back to bed. There's a lot you have to do tomorrow. And if anyone asks, please rate my services five stars. Customer feedback directly affects my wages. Door. Solid door. Colonel, this is me, Solid Cock. I'm infiltrating the facility. It's dank in here, Colonel. my favorite show. Look at the door. It's a door. Not just any door, though. It's... What? This is your door. Oh. cat again. I think it's just do smoking with Sergio. They say smoking is bad for your lungs, but it's not like hostage situation has ever seen anyone die from smoking. In fact, hostage situation would say they're hiding the fact that smoking benefits your health, unless you have weak lungs, maybe. A while back, someone came to hostage situation and asked for what he called a special kind of cigarette. Shady looking mister, some sort of detective, hostage situation, told him to just go away. People like him are not welcome here. There's like no reason for this little fella to even exist other than just because he's cool to look at. Are you here to play Mahjong? Yeah. You have an invitation? I don't. Sorry, but I can't let you in without an invitation. Oh, I thought you'd gotten... Uh, they got rid of you after last time for sure. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Let's get this over with. I'm in a hurry. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's go in. You need an invitation. Invitation, my ass! Out! Sergio storms towards the door, ready to beat up whoever is preventing them from going in, but stops when he sees the young woman. Suddenly, Sergio's demeanor changes completely. She looks at him with a somewhat confused expression. Was hearing it from him not enough? You need an invitation to play. 
Sergio turns around, his face is red. <sighs> Come, let us get that invitation. Maybe this, like, you know what this looks like? When, like, you, you pick your nose and a little bit of, like, brain comes out? Did that ever, ever happen to anyone else? Mahjong. Hmm, yeah, I do know a guy who used to play. That purple dude, Bibbobe. Last I heard, he lost all his money and had to stop. I had to move to the Sheep District. Bibbobe. Vinny, how much brain have you picked out of your nose? I don't remember. The metro gently sways back and forth. Someone approaches you. Psst, kid, you deal smokane? No. No. <laughs> Too bad, me neither. The man walks away. Bib Fortuna? Did you know about my other son, Bib Fortuna? Ah. Yeah, I heard he went to go work for Jabba. You know, originally he was called Wata the Hut. Where'd Bibbobe go? Someone who plays Mahjong. Yeah, there's that purple fella, probably hanging out one of the alleys as always. Hey, was that Gringus on the wall? Yeah, dog, that was Gringus! You know about Gringus? Funny as shit. What do you want? About the Mahjong Parlor. The Mahjong Parlor, yeah, I used to play there when I still lived in Dragon. What about it? Do you know how to get an invitation? I can give you mine in exchange for a small service. The man shows you a suspicious looking package. All you gotta... All you gotta do is deliver this package for me. I'd use an instant mail machine, but I hear they can see the contents of the packages nowadays. It's best they don't know what's going on in this one. You wanna do it? The guy you're looking for is dressed like a Roman soldier. He's probably near Poison in the Rooster District. Here's a payphone to call me when you're done. He's dressed like a Roman soldier. And I'm just like, in my mind, I'm like, oh, that guy. And then I have to think about it for a second. I'm like, Why? wait a minute. He's dressed like a Roman soldier. All these people are trying to get into the organ uh, shack. You overhear some people talking. Hey, you hear? Hear what? Apparently there's a website. You can order a hitman to get someone killed. Oh, yeah. What, you know about it? Don't tell me. Your wife. Yeah. See if I remember where the Roman soldier man is. Hey, hey. Got a package for you. <laughs> I've been waiting for this one. Thanks. That's it. That, that's that's the whole interaction. I'm looking for the payphone. 
Menelos, my doctor found out. He's taking away my prescription. God, what do I do now? Bibbob. I've delivered your package. Thanks, I appreciate it. You can go pick up the invitation from the nearest instant mail parcel locker. Well, that's useful. Cuts down on some travel time. Gotta do a lot of travel in here. Play any more of that new fighting game? Ah, it's this one again. It does kind of sound like Parasite Eve. A little bit. I didn't even consider that, but yeah. This music. SMT? Well, I don't have that reference point, but... It does sound like Parasite Eve to me a little... I'm here to play Mahjong. Do you have an invitation? I do. Thank you. You can come in. Oh, this place is popping. If only popping was some kind of Mahjong term, I could have seemed like a like a fourth dimensional genius. Do you pop Mahjongs, chat? Is that like a thing you can do? Ever tried playing Mahjong while on Smokane? It's like the tiles are talking to me. I mean, they are. They are talking to me. Mahjong. <laughs> Welcome to the rut. We may not be playing real Mahjong, but we're still making some pretty nonconformist moves. That's one way to put it. They don't let us sit at the real game tables, but at least we're not out in the rain. It's not like we're allowed to leave. It's a bit about motivating the bigwigs by showing them that it can always get worse. Well, if we're going to be stuck here, we may as well make the best of it. I, I always say the glass may be half full, but at least it's not full of chicken broth. Picture me calling that six bamboo tile pawn. Oh, you're really shaking things up. Avant-garde. Yeah, I'm going for all terminals. Ooh, now you're talking dirty. Keep going, I like where this is headed. Imagine me fixing a sumo. Whoa, slow down there, cowboy. I think I'm hitting a wall of my own uh, of my own just listening to all these crazy moves. After, after this point, some content will become unavailable. Make sure you've done everything you want. Oh. Well, let's just take a, another quick look around the Mahjong area. There's just so m many places here to play Mahjong. Hey, you're cheating. I saw you switch the tiles when I wasn't looking. What? That's bullshit. How do you even know... How'd you even see if you weren't looking? You saw what I fucking saw, man. Don't lie to me. Where are the people playing Pokemon cards? I mean, they've got plenty of places like this in New York City. I'm sure all over the world where you just go, you play cards, get yourself a coffee, some food. What do you guys think?
do it. Okay, give me one second and I'll do it. All right. Here we go. Wait, I have a good sound effect for this. Do it. Thanks. Not so fast. The man wants to fight. Gonna do gunpowder cigarette. The man doesn't want to smoke. The wise man communicates with the aliens alongside the Ming, while the foolish man gets abducted by the Mang's mistakes. What? You and your insult didn't have any effect. God damn it. Restored more than five health. Oh, yes. Enemy is crying now. Good. I wish that happened before I had the energy drink. Oh, he blocked the attack. Fuck, dude! Alright, well, Sergio is just doing all the killing anyway, so that's fine. Inspector's pissed. Lao Song. I heard you haven't been paying your rent, and that you've secretly been selling smoke cane on top of that. Listen, you're either gonna pay up, or I'm blowing your brains out. Just please give me two days! I'll pay extra even! I don't give a shit. You're gonna pay me right now. Sergio, calm down. Let him... What the fuck do you know? How could you possibly understand? I swear I'll... Shut the fuck up, Lao Song! I fucking had it! My whole life, my whole fucking life, I've been nothing but a fucking pawn, never achieving anything myself. I fucking had it with this shit! I'm gonna take this money and get the fuck away from here. Whoever the inspector sends after me, I'll just fucking kill them. I'll kill the inspector himself if I have to. I'm not gonna be his pawn any longer. No more of this shit. Sergio aims his gun at you. But you want the same, don't you? Of course you do. Who wouldn't? Huh? The fuck you want? I want to talk, man. Talk. Shit. Why is that even a thing? It's full of pictures of fellas. That's weird, man. I'm putting that on Kowloon Net. Sergio, don't do it. Man, why can't we be friends? Take a hit of this, it'll make you feel better. You hand Sergio a cigarette. Can't say no to that. He He's witnessed me doing that to others. If only you hadn't fucking been here.
Come on, don't hit. Miss. I'll kill you! I'll fucking kill you! Sergio falls to his knees. Ah, Cinna. I'm sorry. Cinna from Final Fantasy? Execute or leave. Finish him. You shoot Sergio. Sergio is dead. I fed up with this world. Everybody betray me. I was gonna, yeah, save me a thousand bucks. Um, I probably should have spared him, though. Knowing games like this, like their flow, I, I have a feeling that's probably gonna be, uh, something. Give me one second here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Phone? The inspector wants you in his office immediately. Huh. One second, chat. to the metro real quick. Buy some fresh heels. Okay. Phone. I'm just looking for the um, vending machine. Someone thought when I said I was going to buy heels, they meant, like, the, you know, the part of the shoe. Feels like the longest metro ride I've ever been on. Metro comes to a stop. This is it, Luigi. Beginning to sweat, frog. Ah, you're here. Do you know how much money you've cost me? Do you? I can tell you if you want. Not that it matters, because you're going to earn it all back. And you're going to make me even more money than I lost. You won't be seeing a single cent of that, however. But it's not like you'll even realize that after what they're going to do to you. Boys? The inspector smiles. Take them away.
speeding sound effect dot wave. Whoa, that was it? Hang on, hang on. This is a prequel? I think he shows up in the demo for the full game briefly. Uh, is the full game out? Not out yet. Okay. I mean, I like the weird characters that remind me of Space Funeral a little bit. I liked the, like, the actual environments. Um. Yeah. It's all right. I enjoyed it. Cool. Yeah, there's a chat member that really, really didn't like it. Let's see what the chat member's like. Wow, going through their messages, they're they're just like as crusty as possible. I've, this is a crusty chat member. Damn. Well, I'm sorry, chat member, you didn't like it. Oh, they, they, they're liking the attention right now, never mind. Anyway, uh, yeah, no, listen, crust aside, though, I think it was, it, the game was cool. I would be, uh, <laughs> Sergio in chat, I would be interested in seeing what the full game ends up being like, or rather the, you know, the main non-prequel version of this. But, um, I get what it's based on, and I like that it's just a quick one-off. I like that I could just do this in an hour and a half. That's what made it good. And the setting. So, yeah, not bad. Pretty good. Uh, why don't we take a quick break? I'll be back with another game called Interior Worlds, which I think will also fit the vibe of today quite nicely. Not interior alligator. Not that. Let's see, chat, what do I play on a day like today? Hmm. All of Shine On You Crazy Diamond? You're not. Have I played Have a Cigar recently, chat? No? I think I kind of want to. I think I'm kind of in the mood for that. You played it like three years ago? Press the I'm feeling lucky button. <laughs> Someone said play Gilmore era Floyd. Um, I kind of like some of that stuff. Probably not the first thing. You know what? Let's see. I got something good for us, chat. I got something good because there was just an eclipse. Uh, like last night, there's like a rare lunar event. Like, you know, some kind of eclipse. And it is the 50th anniversary of Dark Side of the Moon. So, I'm going to play this one. 